Lamb Spatchcock. Never heard of it. That's my new thing now. Oh this. god. It, it shouldn't be the new thing, it should be the normal thing. Hello. What the <laughs> Is he trying to break the land speed record or something? Off for our porridge. We're having grapes. some grapes. Because we've been healthy. Well, well yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Not much left. That other jar we bought were at the apartment, know, wasn't it? Massive, that other, other. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Um, just got up. Well, right, actually, I've just been editing. It's uh, processing. Nick's just got up. Gonna watch some something on TV while we have some breakfast. Nice cup of tea. And then. Packing up, heading home. Yeah. And my mum's chemo has been cancelled. Yeah. For the second time. Right, chores done. We're going to see our lovely friend Sheila. We uh, exchanged presents on the doorstep because we didn't want to give her cold. Now we're going to head back. Uh, so we've just been to Tesco as well, filled the car up, and then we're going to head back over to the apartment where my little window clippers. I don't know whether I've mentioned that. Or oh, not. yeah, I need to go and pick them up, don't we? Yeah, so we've got some, um, some posts that we need to collect, and I've ordered some little window wedges. I don't know what they're called. It took me ages to even find them. And um, it'll hopefully help the seals on the window in the apartment because when it when the wind blows, it's very gaily and it, a lot of the heat escapes through the window. So I'm gonna get. I've got these little wedges that you put in the hinge and it pulls the window frame forward apparently, and um, helps create a seal. So and we're gonna fit them this afternoon. We also think that they may have been uh, tampering with the heating because we've been watching it on Hive and it's got over 20 degrees. Yeah. However, it is like nine degrees outside, so yeah, that's still, probably about right. A lot of people in the apartment were on this like WhatsApp group with them all. Um, they're all saying that their apartments are lovely and warm. Toasty, yeah. yeah. So, fingers crossed, we'll have a toasty well, apartment. it's 21 degrees in there at the minute. And, um... First, just, time, in, first time since May. Well, well, yeah, that's true. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes and Right, we've uh, swapped driving for a bit um, Nick's brother is taking Nick's mum to a garden centre and to uh, a farm shop. farm shop So on his way past we're just going to call in say a very sort of like wave from the other side and uh, we'll probably get some lunch maybe there as well To do a nice quiche, they even do a nice treacle tart as well I'm not always a fan on treacle tarts. Oh, I love a bit of treacle tart. What do you guys think of treacle tarts? I think they're far too sugary and You'll sweet. You'll have to explain what a treacle tart is because like, people who are like American won't even know what treacle is. Well, it's like, <laughs> what do you call it in America? The closest thing is molasses, but that's dark. Yeah, it's, it's, it's golden syrup. It's just like a... a it's a, like caramel, but not caramel. It's like a pie crust where you get like a pie base and then it's filled with treacle, is it? I don't know. It's treacle and breadcrumbs, so it's that soggy that it's like sugar-soaked bread. It's very sweet and a bit too sweet for me. It's delicious. So anyway, we're going to go there and... Get um, custard on it as well. <laughs> oh, we're just going to say, should we get something for like teas and stuff? Ooh, I don't really need it. Unless we need to get something for tomorrow night at the farm shop. Um, something healthy, look. like maybe um, some vegetables or some chicken well, for the nice know, they stir might have fries. one of those stir fries that we yeah. usually get when we go to Tong Garden Centre. Not been here for a long time. They've now got a uh, drive-through cafe. Yeah, where you had, um, here. here. This is it. Uh -huh. And a chocolate shop, all made in Yorkshire. And uh, this is the main bit to the farm shop. And then we've got a nice cafe at the back. Once we've had his coffee, we're going to have a look in here. The meat looks amazing. Oh my god, look at those lamb spatchcock. Never heard of it. It looks nice. Get some up for tomorrow night. These look so good. Jamaican jerk salmon fillets. What do you think? I quite like it. I think we'll get them. It's very calorific though. It's oh, salmon. screw it, it's Christmas. Right, we're getting some veg, lots of vegetables. That's what we need to start filling up on more. I got them and some toasted currant tea cakes. Can't not have them if you go. What's salmon? Underneath there. Oh, yeah. Can't not have them. They're amazing. Right, the coffee shop was a fail because they're actually closed for Christmas so they can concentrate on Christmas orders, which I don't know what they mean, like hampers or stuff. Uh, so we're going to a different cafe where Nick's mum is now. That's probably closed and all for Christmas. We'll see when we get there. But yeah, we've got loads of vegetables there to go with the salmon. That's my new thing now. Oh, God. It shouldn't be the new thing. It should be the normal thing. Like, 
Are you feeling motivated after talking to Nicky last night? Maybe a little bit. Just <laughs> I was just kind of glad that it was not just us put a little bit of weight on and has got some to lose and are struggling. But he, Nicky did make, make obviously, the, the honest observation, which we know is true as well, when he's watching the vlogs. We snack far too much. It's one of the things that we... We, it's our downfall. We snack a lot rather we've than said, having a big meal. We've said what we should do is take all the snacks out of other vlog no, or no, the no. apartment. No, 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 no. Because that if it's there, you, you can't resist temptation. Well, so the can. only true way. Children, you can resist temptation. No, you can't. Not when you're hungry. Anyway, I'll get when back you, to my story. When you've once got Nick's temptation, finished. remove it, and then it removes the ability to have a weak willpower. What's this thing in here? A car. That thing there. Oh, it looks like a, it's like a little rocket pack thing. Well, there's somebody sat in it. Yeah. Mm. Odd. Well, it's like it's fallen off a fair ground. Um, right so anyway, yeah. So um, I want to going forward after Christmas. I, I'm not dieting for Christmas. Uh, it's not dieting. It's healthy then lifestyle. You've got choice. no willpower. That's all. Uh, I'll no, say. I just don't want to. It's why ruin Christmas? Then I don't <laughs> want to. I don't want to not eat food. No, I'm going to eat food. But I'll get back to what I'm saying now. Five minutes ago. Um, wait a minute. Oh, it's moving. I just need to show you this. Thing. What the frig? Hello. What the hell? <laughs> Is he trying to break the land speed record or something? How odd. <laughs> um, is just basically eat more fish, like a big piece of fish or a big piece of meat. Do you know how much calories are in salmon? And then put loads of uh, vegetables with it and fill up on vegetables so that we're not snacking all night long and all day long. There's a pattern to our vlogs. Every January we go on a diet. Apart from last January when we, we're we, 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 we didn't bother, <laughs> we just continued eating. Um, so there we go. It's a very exciting time for us because it's a brand new um, garden centre where we've never been. They've got a Charlotte's ice cream uh, little parlour thing there. Plant World it's called. Ooh. Deli this way. I like a Christmas tree oh, with uh, uh, what? Something in here. It's, oh, it's like a... Yeah. It's just an old cabinet with some books. Yeah. Hampton's Restaurant. I'm a bit peckish, I must say. Are you? I've never been here before. No, we've never been here. Ooh, jacket oh potato God. with butter and stuff. Hot turkey sandwich. Oh yes, that's what I want. Well, as it's Christmas, we're having pigs in blankets, turkey and... Is that stuffing? Mm, not sure. It with, looks like a waffle. Uh, gravy and um, <laughs> mince pie and some coffees and teas. Well, we... Um, My mum's down like <laughs> half a mile away. She's back door, but we keep waving and shouting. So we just got my mum a free ice cream at um, Charlotte's in there. Just walking past these and oh my god, look at those pork pies, especially with the cranberry on. I want one. Right, just to go back to Nick's mum. We're having a look around here now. So Christmas tree branches, three pound per bunch. And this is, bearing in mind that this is like the 20th, oh, I'm actually get three. Well, bearing in mind that it's the 21st of December and they're charging three quid for a pitting tree branch. Hmm. Like it's that. not wood, but it's like yeah. stiff card. You can as get a good, a good few years out of that. As it's almost Christmas for us. Everything's on sale now, half price. I quite like that one actually. It's but just it's, nice. It's, you've got to just and you get quite a lot of sweets yeah. in that as well. I thought, I thought that I said conk shop at first. Gonk shop. What? Gonk shop. What's a donk? Uh, these things. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna get one of these meshed Santa for the Christmas Eve box. Looking both right on it and say yeah. Uh, I'm sure it'll be like, I want a mobile phone, please, Santa. Yeah, right, yeah. And uh, one of them will be getting one. To say this is a uh, garden centre, the prices are not bad. Like, most things, oh, these windmill sets. Most things are like a quid, or 130, 165. Can you remember, years ago, you used what? to get, um, it were like tracing paper, and it had like a transfer on it, and you used to get a pen, put it on a piece of paper, and then you'd do like that, yeah. and you'd peel it off, and you it would transfer to paper. Those, I don't even know what they're called, but I haven't seen them one of them since I was a kid. Um, but I am going to get them that. Puzzle. Old traditional, and the, what? Just tip it out, and then they've got to put, and it, then back put it back in. Yeah, they'll get bored within a minute. Well, I know, but something to do on Christmas Eve, isn't it? Maybe we should get one of those, and then then uh, Masha can slingshot at your head. I'm She'd love now. it. I'm curious now as to what is, what them transfers are called. Mm. I just remember having Spider-Man one as a kid. In the car, just passing this one. This is always one of the most impressive trees each year. I wonder how long it took to get that all wrapped around that tree. I would imagine those lights have been there for years. If I were them, I would leave that on <laughs> permanently, <laughs> all year round. No, I mean like, put it on, might as well, all oh, that yeah, effort might as well. and work. Next year, can you do one like that at the lodge? Um, yeah, I already know the tree I'd do it on. Back in the apartment, we've called up my mum's on the way home, as I said, what we were gonna do. We got these clips for the windows, so 
Has it got some of these clips on already? And you're putting um, extra on? Kind of. But these are a lot smaller. I hope they still work. So this should give us a bit more draft protection when it closes. <laughs> well, what it'll do is it'll suck the frame in more. Yeah, yeah. Rather than just relying on the one in the middle. And these came from eBay how much? Five pound, four pound, including the screws. For how many? Five. Five? There's the more yeah. than five there. No, there's two pairs. You get you get a pair of each. Right. This should create a, uh, a firmer uh, sure. seal. If we put that on that frame, there, yeah. the two interlock like that, mm -hmm. and it pulls the frame in and seals it against this rubber, theoretically. Yeah, in theory. How's it going? Not very well. Why? Because I've discovered that the old ones don't even touch. So I've got to put them in further in line to get them to grip. But doing that when it's inside a window frame is almost impossible because I can't see how far in. I'm just doing some editing. Right, we couldn't fix the windows. Although Nick has got some of the seals a little bit tighter, but not 100%. So we have got a, uh, a fault in with logged with the apartment. There's lots of faults with the um, apartment we'll building <laughs> itself, mainly to do with just being so cold. Because it's alright tonight. Um, Nick oh. is what's that audience man? My curry that's been in um, my curry. Nick is on the phone. He's been on the phone for about 25 minutes to um, a delivery company. We have a delivery of a hamper due to some of our friends um, tonight. Um, what we wanted to surprise them with, although we had to ask them if they were going to be oh. in. It's arrived. Oh, it's arrived. She's just messaged me. It's Woo arrived. So, so um, hope you guys like the hamper that you've got if you're watching. Um, cheeses and wines and, and chocolate and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to have my chucking curry and then I've got a bit of work to do. What are you going to do for the rest of the night? Uh, I might go and get cake. We've had breakfast, we've been showered, we're ready to go. I feel back to normal. Thank goodness. Mm, my nose is a bit stinging. Very, this morning was very full of me. Um, so, a bit of a development overnight concerning colds. Nick's brother's getting a cold now, and Nick's partner, Phil, oh, sorry, <laughs> Gail's partner, <laughs> Phil, he's got me. a chest infection. So, there might be a theory now that we've all got it from Gail, who has had a little bit of a runny nose. She's had a stinging runny nose, yeah. and she's basically been coughing. For so, the last week. Yeah. But we just thought it was side effects from chemo. So we're thinking if she got cold, she's given it to us she's all. She's given it to all us. Um, but I feel back to normal now. So we do have to go visit her today because there's nobody there. And um, masks at the other side at lounge, the, just in case. They're having masks anyway. There's this new policy in because a lot of people are getting colds at the minute this Christmas. So you've got to wear a mask there anyway. So. And it also fits the theory as well that her chemo was cancelled because her white blood cell mm. count was elevated. So if she's had a cold, that would have caused that. Onto the windows. So my brother's talking to the doctors now to try and see whether that is the case. Nick's going to get a new, what is it? Hinge. Right, so these apartment windows are donkey's years old. They were never calibrated when they were put in and a lot of the elements have got inside the hinge and made it rusty. So I tried putting these little wedges that pull the frame in, As you saw. which didn't work. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Googling overnight and I've discovered that the common theory or the common fix for a UPVC window that has the bit coming away from this, the sash in the frame coming away Can you on get the to hinge, point? Get on, to point. Shut up! On the hinge side is actually a worn hinge. Look at this screw fix sell them, 310 millimetre hinge at nine pound odd. So we're gonna go and get one nine to pound. test it. For one? Two, one at top, bottom, a pair. They come in pairs. Come on. So hopefully that will fix it. And if it does, then we'll only have another 70 quid to spend. Right, we're on our way to Screwfix to pick up a hinge, which I've just ordered. There is Castle, Ooh. what's it called again? Castle, Castle Hill. Hill. It's where we went with Jade. Yeah, we went there with Jade in lockdown. Well, obviously it wasn't lockdown, but um, throughout well. the lockdown period where you could visit people Take outside. And we like met up road. there. We had a little bit of a, kind of a picnic, didn't we? We had something. Yeah. And um, we also went there when it snowed as well and almost, and that's when the car slid down the hill. Oh yeah. And yeah. That, that must have been in lockdown. That was in lockdown, yeah. Right, so this looks identical to the one that I'm taking off, 
So it fastens there to the frame and then there and there to the window. The window sits there and then it kind of pulls in and it's this bit here that according to YouTube and Google is worn. And um, the only problem is I've got to literally unscrew this top and bottom and then literally lift the window inside to be able to fit this one and then put that back in and fit it again. So Lee's going to be literally like crapping himself having to hold the window, especially since we're right, we're not on the ground floor. Hold the window? Yes. The window's got to come out. Ooh. Unless I, I can... Unless I can... I don't like the sound of this. Well, unfortunately when you live in an apartment, you're not on ground floor, you have no choice. What we'll do is we'll tie a rope to the handle just in case it falls. We'll do it next year. No, we will not. Right, and just like that, we got to the hospice and gonna, my brother's took my mum out to um, get some fresh air. So she's actually at Thorns Park in Wakefield. So we're just gonna go and meet them. So she's just down here. So there's actually a conservatory on Thorns Road right at the very end. I think at this time of year, it's probably gonna be closed, but we're gonna have a, have a mooch over there, aren't we? And uh, see if we can get in. Yeah. There's no cafe, I'm afraid. Well, not, not where we're going. There used to be like a food booth outside, but I don't think it'll be open this time of year. Right, we're in Thorns Park, just having a little walk. I've got no bread, I'm afraid. It's like being at Lodge, although we don't have this many ducks at the Lodge. I love ducks. I know, I love ducks. I absolutely love them. However, bird flu's been detected in the area. Ew. Said on a sign back there. Right then, bye ducks. Lots of birds here as well. I think this, this has been put on because when it was frosted, yeah, it was just to protect them. It's to stop them from um, freezing today. Ooh, see them all there, sat on the uh, rope. I bet it was still cold in there though. There we go, you can see them there. Right, we're just walking back. It's a little bit cold for my mum. So the uh, the lake's actually half frozen further back there, so it's about three degrees. So my brother's just pushing there in the chair. And then apparently up there at the top, there's a pub. So we're going to go there and maybe scoff on fish and chips and a pint of lager. Right, here we are, Homefield Arms in the middle of Thorns Park. I'd be very surprised if we got a table because it looks rammed, but you never know. We'll get one. Currently drinking a pint of Rocking Rudolph. Rocking Rudolph. It's quite nice, I've tried it. It's just like a bitter, isn't it? It's a bit, well, it will do. It's a bit bitter, a bit Guinnessy, and a bit Christmassy. It tastes almost a little bit spicy, if that makes sense. Hence the Christmas name. Every Christmas My mum's over there in the distance, tucking on a uh, rocking Rudolph Christmas ale. Is it nice, ma'am? She likes it. She's just had a brownie as well. Rocking Rudolph Christmas ale. So, maybe. Oh, majestic wines? I don't drink wine. What? So we don't have a selection of Christmas booze in. We have not bought it for our Christmas um, soirees with the kids. Yeah. Well, the kids won't be having a drink. <laughs> kids won't be having a drink anyway. But we need we need a drink to get through it, don't we? Red wine is all I. Desire. We've got some red wine. Um, so my mum was has basically been fretting all afternoon that she's not got a Christmas tree up for when the kids come back from Lapland because the grandkids are in Lapland at the minute. Uh, they're going there for Christmas. So when they come back, she won't have a tree up. So she's been fretting about it. Now I bought my mum a tree a couple of weeks ago for her room in the hospice. Um, it's only a little tiny one because she didn't want anything big and you can't put anything in there because there's not enough room. But um, she's been fretting about it. So I've just rung her and I've said, do you want me to come and have a look in your loft and see whether you've got a Christmas tree in there and put it up for you? And she said, yeah, go on then. So we've kind of turned round from going back to the apartment. We're going to get back when the windows are dark, aren't we? Well, maybe we'll just do it in the morning or something. No, we'll do it tonight. Oh. I want the window sword. Um, so we're going to go to my mum's, put a tree up, then head back to the apartment in the dark and put and take the window off. Well, we think we, the thing, we, we think we have to take the window off to change the hinge, but we'll find out. Such a contrast, isn't it, when we were driving past lakes in America and they were like blue sky and beautiful lakes and then you come home and you drive past something like Durka. Yeah, that's not Durka, is it? That's Pugnes? Durka Lake, Pugnies, oh. in Wakefield. Yeah. Well, it's We've actually we've gone on there in yeah. a canoe, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. In the wind, 
and we've actually gone from this end right up to the other end. Single and man canoes. Single man canoes, and you 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 pedaling whatever rowing, and you get to the one end, and then you realise that you've actually been pedaling against it like in the wind. So you think, oh, well, this is easier, and then you've got to pedal back at twice the twice the effort. I can't remember who we did it with. Was it Sazzle? Sazzle would never have done canoeing. Never. I can't remember what we did it many many years ago, probably twenty years. Who ago. did we do it with? Was it Sammy? Uh, no, I can't remember. Don't know. We have been canoeing quite a, quite a few times, and um, yeah, not my thing. And then we went boating last year with the kids, and had the the hoars for the boat or the oars, whatever you pronounce it. They had no flat on them, so when you were rowing, they weren't. You would literally weren't going anywhere. Matthew was poorly then, wasn't she? Because she was crying. Um, I can't remember. There was something wrong with her. I remember. Right, so we're, anyway, we're on our way to my mum's. We're going to sort this tree out, and then we've got to go back to the apartment. Right, we've put my mum's decorations up for her. Um, she didn't have that many. I think what she was, what she'd done is she'd thrown a lot out, load out in mid-year, with the intention of buying new ones this year. But because of everything that's happened, we literally had to put up what she'd got. So she's got kind of blue lights strung across her photos. She's got a three-foot tree, very much like <laughs> a bottle of the hospice with yeah. blue lights on. But it Random looks baubles. Today. It looks festive, but it's just. It needs more, she just needs a little bit missing. So we're gonna go back tomorrow, she's actually gonna go, she's actually spending the night at home with my brother there, um, just to see how she copes. But she's been absolutely amazing today, hasn't she? She's been really, the chemo, we, we, we thought the last couple of weeks that it was kind of like disease progression and things like that, but the chemo, we've realized now, has literally just completely took it out of her. And um, she's been eating, she's, she's been, been eating, not even tried to get her to eat because that's been like a real battle. And you put a pint in front of her, she doesn't even tell her, she just knocks it back. It's a bit like me, really, isn't she? So um, we're going to go back tomorrow, help her wrap some Christmas presents up, the final ones for the grandkids, sort them all out, take her shopping to Asda because she wants to buy the people in the uh, the hospice who have been looking after her, uh, some quality streets and things like that. So we're going to take her out, do that. And then tomorrow night, we're heading back to the lodge where the kids. Lee's sister and his mum and dad are going and um, then I'm going to come back on Christmas Day probably um, to see my mum in the morning while Lee learns how to cook a Christmas dinner. I'll help my mum do it. <laughs> help your mum? She's an expert at it. How about you take over and let your mum assist you? As if I don't know how to cook. Of course I do. Oh you please. Just like cooking do you actually do watch our vlogs? Anyway look out the window how bad it is right. at the moment. So this, this is basically the uh, the depth of the fog that we've got at the minute. It's actually quite light compared to what it was 10 minutes ago. You couldn't see about 10 feet in front of you. And we have got 39 minutes to get back to the apartment. I might have a nap while you do this. Right, back in the apartment. And uh, we're gonna do the salmon that we got at the, um, what do we call it? Farm shop the other day, yesterday. Jamaican jerk salmon fillets. And uh, we're gonna have it with some corn on the cob. Some, um, Tender strand broccoli, some bobby beans, never heard them call that before, yeah, and some um, sweet corn. So, filling up with lots and lots of vegetables tonight. Look at you! Do you know what to do? Of course, I know what to do. What have you put on there? Does it make it stick? Olive oil. Oh, you should have put butter on, but never mind. Whatever, I? whatever. Coat it in, coat it in. It's don't want too much because it'll make us cough. No, it won't. That's the heater that makes you cough. This stuff's really nice. This is like a saltiness. There we go, and then stick it Oh no, in. a bit more. No, 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 that's enough. That's well, enough. Put more in mine then. That'll do. Right, get that in the oven. There we go. Along with salmon. I haven't and, done any um, other stuff. You're the chef, you decide. Do I just stick them on there? I have some good new. Uh, no. You need to microwave them. Mm. Right, as I was trying to say, I have some good news. So the hinge that I bought today, I've just looked at it against the one that's on the window and it fits perfect. Unfortunately, it's kind of raining at the minute and it's too dark and I'm not going to risk taking it off and putting the other one on in the dark. So tomorrow morning, me and Lee are going to take the window in, swap the hinge and put it back on. That's the plan. Sure it's ready? Well, let me just cut yours open. Yep, looks cooked to me. 100%. Yep, looks flaky. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You've mm, left loads on. on. Oh, hey. I'm not eating that. That's just like. That is really, really nice. And obviously, that's mine now because I've tried it. So, you try that. 
It's very much like that Madonna ring thing, actually. Mm. Oh, here we go. You don't like it. It's nice, but it's not beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. It needs some sweet chili sauce. We've just had a moment of weakness. Yes, we have. <laughs> it was a very big moment. We just had a big bag of Marks and Spencer's honey roasted cashews. No, they want the rosemary coat. Rosemary, cashews, all sorts of stuff. What's our friend's Danny? We had the whole bag. Was it? I don't know. Shell. Oh, it's our friend Shell. Our friend Shell and our friends Dan and Kelly sent us some things this week, uh, some treats and stuff. Yeah, we can blame them. So, um, they're very nice. I've got a few left. I'm going to do some good this come something? Oh yeah, we've, got, we've opened one of bottles of wines as well, thanks guys. <laughs> so we've got nuts and wine out of one thing. I'm going to do some comments today, thank you for commenting on all our videos, it's much appreciated. We read every single one. A lot of the comments tonight are about tear bands, because we mentioned that in the video. Uh, Ricardo's family vlog says tear bands used to be off Junction 26 at Tankersley on the roundabout. Great place, went for the 30th birthday. 26? I don't the think so. The place is still there, but a different restaurant. Junction 36? Yeah, 36, yeah. You said 26? Oh, yeah. You did? It's owned by Whitbread. I don't think there's any tear bands left, to be no. honest, by, by the sounds of it. From what I remember reading years ago, it was a, it was a concept store. And I think there was only like seven in the country. Somebody else here, Helen Clapperton says, there were seven tear bands in England. It's 70? Owned, seven. It's owned by Whip Bread, yep. that owns Brewers Fairs and Premier in. They own Costa now. Another one. Oh, it's from Helen again. My partner works at that Brewers Fair tear bands. Um, well, it used to be tear bands. Yeah, so I don't think there's any tear bands anymore. Louise Kitchen says there was a tear band, oh, tear bands again, <laughs> in South Shields. We went a couple of times as it was ideal for little kids who are fussy. It's no longer there. Jenny Saddle said, oh my god, I almost choked when you answered my question about a summer in Australia. Thanks, Jenny, for the um, comments. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, theme park bazaar again. Regifting. Hmm, that reminds me. Did you check your P.O. box? Oh, I can't imagine what's there. Hmm, interesting. Can't imagine <laughs> what's there. Kimberly Blaw says, Bent's Garden Centre is lovely at Christmas. It's worth a visit. Bent's Garden Centre, don't know where. where? Bent's, B-E-N-T-S. Never heard of it. Lady Miriam Full says, the pair of you are such a great support for Nick's mum. She's actually had an amazing day today. Mm -hmm. Last week, like I said earlier, last week we were, we were really like saddened and, and today she's been on top form. Mm -hmm. She's no longer tired. She's not dribbling anymore from the chemo. She's not got sore lips. She had a pint. It just made us <laughs> feel like it was nice Uplifted. to spend time, yeah. especially for Nick, to spend time with his mum on a really good day and they've just, you know, yeah. Nick trimmed her old house up, well, not her old house, yeah. but her, her room up, made it look nice and cosy and Christmas blue for her. And she was just, she, she said, Nick, nice was, and cozy. Nick was sorting all the presents out for the grandkids and stuff. She said, oh, it's a relief now that, that that's all sorted. It's not fully sorted yet. We need to buy another sack and we need to wrap some more tomorrow and then it's done. Susan Hunt says you are caring young men looking after um, Nick's mum like you are. Not many people call us young anymore. Um, Sarah Jolly says Wentworth Garden Centre had a walled garden to walk around. There is more around the corner from the restaurant. Lots more comments about tear bands. What's about Yorkshire pudding? Lorraine Shepherd says I used to have golden syrup on leftover Yorkshire puddings. Mm, I've had it. Sweet on... doesn't go with me, go for me for, on Yorkshire puddings. Yes, it's the same as a pancake. Oh no, no, no. It's no, exactly no. the same. One more. Diane Watson says, Nick and Lee, I think it's so nice the way you're looking after your mum. Glad she's getting the right treatment. Then she can spend Christmas with her family. Um, she is going well, to be spending Christmas at home <coughs> probably on Christmas Day. She, she will had... not come to the lodge. She's no. adamant she's not coming to the it's lodge. It's a long way to go for her. Uh, there is... Yeah, but she's staying a couple of days. There is lots of people going to see her, and Nick's going to go see her. Well, either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. You'll see in the next few books. Um, so, Nick's drinking a glass of wine. Mm. Mm. Thank you for watching our video today, guys. It's not guys. just ordinary wine, it's Marks and Spencer's wine. And it's a Malbec, it's very nice. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And it's getting very close to, for us to Christmas. Tomorrow, my Relief. family's coming to the lodge. We're going to go see Nick's mum, spend some more time with her, and then head to the lodge. My family will already be there, no doubt. Um, and then it's Christmas Eve. So if Nick goes home Christmas Eve, no matter what, whether he stays or goes, I think I'm going to go into Beverly with my family and um, enjoy oh, I'm gonna miss that. Beverly on Christmas Eve. Unless my mum decides to come for Christmas. And then it's Christmas Day. And then we'll meet her in Beverly. She can do it with us. So thanks for watching, and we shall see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye.